In the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. And when this new, new mass comes, they're going to invalidate the consecrations. we got to pay attention to that. Some people may be drawn into refuges faster than before even the warning. And I do feel like I've kind of been drawn into a refuge, you know, before just because the priests, they don't care to know me for the, the person that God has made. They want to put, uh, they want to put me into a box, so to speak. to uh, take away my finances and my freedom and also my generational history. And that's a huge problem with these priests who aren't from America. They want to get rid of my uh, Staffordness, so to speak, where I came from, uh, my bloodline from Great Britain and all that goes into that. And, the, and my relatives coming off the Mayflower, John, uh, Doherty, and all this uh, beautiful history of my bloodline, they want to erase that. They could care less. Like I said to the priest, you could care less about my father if he wrote a letter saying that Anna needs to play violin at church. They really could care less about it. Or how many years my father worked at Boeing or the, um, you know, as a civil naval for the, um, you know, for all these nuke operations or whatever he did, you know. They could really care less. And I'm telling you to get ready. My dad's a nukes person. And let me tell you, you don't mess around with that. My dad was always super overly prepared. We called him Mr. Paranoia. And to be honest, when I kind of toot the horn about this warning and all this stuff, people will say, oh, yeah, yeah, Anna. Well, if you were in the position of guarding a nuke facility, would you just be sitting around idly or would you be watching and just like we should take advice from my father, the nukes guy, we should take advice from our Lord. Watch, watch, and don't let this time go by idly sitting by thinking it's never going to happen. Because remember, he said it's going to come at the time people least expect it. That's why I have to pay attention, keep watch, because we're idle human beings that's why we have to force ourselves to work out of bed practice you know all this stuff because we're so idle and dull that we can easily just fall prey and society is more than willing to to have us jump on board and a lot of callers have done that you know and and a lot of callers get fired for exposing callers that do that
novel by Father Gordon McRae. I highly recommend reading it because he's got priests criticizing him while he's in a jail cell, and it's really humbling. You know, he's forced to have to respond, and of course, he responds in a very eloquent manner.